It has been about three months since this absolutely horrific shooting at Westgate injured three people. Thankfully, no one was killed in that shooting. Now, investigators say the 20 year old Armando Hernandez Jr. carried out the attack thinking mm. that shooting people would get him respect. And new tonight, we are now hearing from one of the survivors. He told our three TVs, David Caltabiano, what he would say to the suspected shooter. It started off as a shopping trip to Westgate for Alfredo Jaime and his girlfriend. It quickly turned into a life or death situation as a gunman fired round after round from an AR-15 rifle. I think, I think there's a shooting at the loft at Westgate. Alfredo, his significant other, and a woman struck by bullets. I didn't feel like I was going to make it through. Like, I passed out like at least three or four times before the ambulance came and picked me up. I just wanted to stop fighting. Like, I, I didn't want to feel the pain no more. I was just looking up at the sky, like just waiting, like just waiting to see myself like on the floor. At first, his family was told that he wasn't going to make it. But the 19 year old opened his eyes in the hospital. He says his girlfriend was in jeopardy of losing her leg, but doctors didn't end up amputating it. Alfredo took the brunt of the attack. This is a bullet hole that came out from my back. And this is an exit hole and then this one right here. This is where he hit me in my um, my chest. And that bullet just went in and it completely shattered my, my ribs. The suspected gunman, Armando Hernandez Jr. will see a trial on February 1st as he's facing more than 40 felony charges. Investigators say the 20 year old carried out the attack to gain respect because he was bullied and couldn't get women. Authorities say he was targeting couples, wanted at least 10 victims and only shot three because his gun malfunctioned. You really didn't gain respect. You really just gained a lot of hatred. Tonight, Alfredo tells me he's thankful that he and his girlfriend made it out alive. He has one last message to the man police say was behind the gun. You shot me, but I'm still standing to this day. In Phoenix. You, you and your gun couldn't even stand me. David Coltabiano for Arizona's Family.